All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna take you guys through 10 of my favorite exercises to increasing your boxing speed and power. So let's get it. So to start the boxing workout, the first thing I usually do, as you guys know, is warm up with the jump rope. Okay. So the list of uh, exercises that we're going to be doing today, they're all pretty much explosive type movements. They're geared towards increasing your speed and power when you're hitting the heavy bag, as well as endurance. But more importantly, for our purposes, it, they're really going to help you to burn fat. So in no particular order, we're going to be doing some medicine ball throws, uh, plyometric push-ups. We're going to be hitting the heavy bag for 10 minutes. Um, we're going to do, you know, moving ball slams. Uh, we're going to do push-ups on a ladder and move as we push up. Box jumps, uh, running on the treadmill, battle rope with angles, tennis ball slips. And then we are also going to finish off with probably some kettlebell punches. These are all really great explosive moves. It is an intense workout, guys, so make sure you pace yourself if you decide to follow along. But one thing I can guarantee you, if you do put this workout in your regimen at least once or twice a week, you're definitely gonna see a noticeable improvement in terms of your weight loss and your strength going up. So let's go. Now we just have uh, two more uh, warm-up moves. Uh, so this first one is angles on the ladder. So you're just actually trying to create uh, angles as you hop in and out of the squares of the ladders. And then each time you turn, you try to throw a punch. And um, that's a great move for footwork as well as getting your stamina up. The next move is just um, slipping the short heavy bag. And this just helps to loosen you up as well. So the next exercise we're going to do is using the ladder. You're going to have a 10 pound medicine ball in my... Uh, my off hand because I'm a southpaw and then I'm going to throw my jab and as I throw my jab I'm going to step while holding the medicine ball practicing to keep this hand up. The medicine ball is going to add some weight to the movement. This is great for working on your footwork, speed as well as your endurance. All right. All right so I put this move in in place of the uh, ladder push-ups primarily because this move is great for coordination and footwork. Alright, so next up we're going to do um, medicine ball slams and move at the same time. So pretty much going to face the ladder, slam the ball down, pick it up, jump to the next ladder, slam it again. Again, this is a great move for like explosive power. The ball slam is just a really good overall move for good strength. It really engages the core, you're working your legs and you're building most more importantly that explosive power so this is definitely one of my favorite exercises for boxing so the next move is going to be the plyometric push-ups it's a great move to work pretty much all the push muscles so your chest your shoulder your triceps and it's actually going to add a lot of strength and stability to the tendons right here in your muscle you know, right in your wrist lock your wrist in Gonna get you real strong. You could perform the um, plyo push ups by just doing a regular push up, but instead of going back down, before you go back down, you just push up off the ground. Um, the whole idea here is to just get explosive strength, and this exercise does a really good job of building up the explosive power right here in pretty much all of your push muscles. So, this is another goal for me. All right, guys, so the next move is going to be box jumps. Great move to add some explosive power to the legs. If you're boxing, you're going to need your legs a lot to move and, you know, distribute those punches properly with power and speed. So for this move, you're going to stand as close to the box as possible without obviously, you know, hitting your feet on the box. You 
you know, I don't want you guys falling over, but you're going to explode up with your legs and your glutes. And then when you land on the box, make sure that your legs are also bent as well. And this is just a really great move to build up um, strength and power in the legs. And it's also going to help you be really explosive as a boxer. So this is just a really good overall move for lower body strength and, you know, performance. All right, so next up, we're gonna do a medicine ball throw. Pretty much throw it as a target in a motion of your one, two. So I'm gonna throw it as a jab, catch it, throw it two, throw it again as a jab. And we're trying to do like 20 with, what is this, six pounds, and then we're gonna up the weight for three sets. So I know not everyone's gym is gonna have this uh, target that you could throw the ball at. Uh, what you could do is just practice, you know, find a clean spot on the wall. Make sure it's not a wooden wall, but actually a concrete wall that you could throw the ball. And, you know, this is a great move again for explosive power. All right, guys, so next up we're going to do some kettlebell shadow boxing. We're going to do one, two, and then move. So one, two, move, one, two, move. This is a great move to increase the speed and power of your jab because you're using resistance to throw your punches. So when you're not throwing punches without resistance, you're gonna develop more speed, more velocity, and that's gonna equal more power. All right, so if you don't have kettlebells, you can actually use like small dumbbells, you know, two to three pounds. You can find those easily at Walmart or on Amazon. And again, this is a great move for speed and power. All right, so the next move is going to be angles, but on the battle ropes. So we're going to have the battle ropes. We're going to slam. One, slam. Two, slam. Three. And that's just pretty much working on your endurance, as well as your footwork and overall power, especially in the legs. All right, man. So battle ropes just by itself, just standing there and doing the ropes is real taxing on your respiratory system. So I could tell you this, like doing the battle ropes and then doing angles with it, it's crazy. But this gives you a really good overall workout and you will be definitely gassed once you're finished, you know, three sets of this exercise. You know, just be cautious. You know, like I said, it is extremely taxing on the system. So if you feel lightheaded, you may want to give it a break until you get yourself up to that level where you know you could probably bang this for three sets of 20 reps, all right? All right, guys, so the next move is the tennis ball slip. So when I get into my fighting stance, the partner is gonna throw the tennis ball at me. And the objective here is to slip, you know, pull back, roll, roll. Whole objective here is just to get your reaction up, help you develop that speed, and your reaction time as far as evading punches. All right, so this is just an all-out exercise. It's really good for um, practicing to evade punches. The tennis ball is small. It comes at you hard if you know the person is throwing it hard. And because it's so small, it's really it's really hard to evade. You know, um, here you can see I'm doing some shadow boxing in between as well. And then as soon as the ball comes at my way, I try to, you know, slip left, slip right, you know, roll, you know, just generally work on get my reaction time up, you know, because you're going to need that when you're boxing, you're going to need speed. Um, did I get pop? I sure did. Right here, you can see, boom, right in my mouth, you know, but it's a good move, man. And, you know, practicing this is only going to help your defense as far as boxing is concerned. All right, so the next move now is just wailing on the heavy bag for about 10 minutes. So here I'm just getting suited and booted, putting on my little sweat jacket, wrapping my hands, putting my gloves on. And then today we're just going to try and, um, you know, throw some combos at the, the short heavy bag. Um, 
I particularly like this bag um, because it swings at you, you know, and when it swings at you, you can actually practice like evading the bag with slips, and, you know, rolls, and, um, you know, it allows you to throw uppercuts as well. You could throw uppercuts on a regular, you know, long, heavy bag, but it's a lot easier to do on this bag. So this is just an overall great um, move for you know building up your boxing power because you want to try and hit the bag as hard as you possibly can and you can lift weights and do all the other fancy exercises but you still need to get your body used to that idea of exerting force a maximum force by throwing punches you know and you're only going to develop that by punching a heavy bag so you know this is a great move all right, so the final move, guys, is just jogging for 12 minutes on the treadmill just to get our stamina up. Um, I really do appreciate you guys watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you're not a subscriber. And if you did subscribe, please leave a comment below. I'll definitely respond to you guys, and it lets me know that you like what I'm doing. So thanks again for watching the video. Please like and share it, and y'all have a great day.